Hey everybody and welcome back to Dust Studio. Uh, in this render I am going to be just putting together another bedroom for a game I'm currently working on. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon, that really helps me out. And an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So what I want to do is I'm going to use a lot of assets from other scenes to achieve what I'm going to achieve. But I'm also going to do some really basic stuff like the floor I'm just going to create using a plane. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click on this shape up here that looks like three shapes smushed together. And I'm just going to create a room. Probably going to be about five meters square or thereabouts. And if I zoom right out, I can see that shape there. And then I'm just going to have a look through my materials and my shaders. And just see if I can find a shader that suits what I'm looking for got plenty of wood shaders I just want it to be really simple no, clearly that's not a good one Probably because I haven't got the fasty uh, plane selected so let's try that again with the plane selected there we go and it's, it is applying it we just need to make sure we get everything where we want it to be there we go right so as you can see UV coordinates at the moment are huge that's five and a half meter uh, plane so we need to change the UV coordinates a little bit on there so we'll go to geometry horizontal tiles so I'm gonna guess how many slab. I'm gonna guess that this is probably a one meter square so let's just stick this on five by five and see what happens let's just pop ourselves into Nvidia IRA mode and just see how that actually looks maybe let's have a look and see if I, I like the idea of having a wood floor but let's see if we've got some carpet shader instead yeah that'll work that's good it's um you're not going to see a great deal of it it's a nice carpet floor anyway so that's cool right so i'm going to come back out of nvidia iro mode looks good and i think i'm going to make this room not square but obviously the floor is just a plane so that doesn't really matter a great deal so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for some wall props. Be under product. Cool beans, right? So here we go. Let's find props our walls, and I'm just going to add those into the scene. And the beauty is, is that realistically, if you've got sets that you've built with other products and things like that, this is really kind of basic principles. So I'm just going to grab one of these walls. That looks pretty big. You soon realize how small five meters actually is. I mean, this square is five meters across. It's actually really tiny in terms of how big a bedroom is. It's basically two and a half doors Cross. So this is a, a small little bedroom. It's going to have similar windows to the other rooms in the game. So all we have to do is grab that wall, we're going to grab our parameters, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to slide that one over to here. It's going to be a little bit of an overlap, but that's fine. I can live with that. And as you can see now, the inside of the room is starting to look like a room. And now, obviously, this corner of the room is really free so I can just I'm going to add another another object here I'm going to swing this in and I'm actually going to make this a angled room so I'm going to change this angle to 45 and I can move this now along there like that Now, if we look in here, we can see that we've got a nice angled room. Perfect. Now I'm going to add another room along here. This is where the door is going to be on this wall, I think. So we'll find a wall with a door. It doesn't have to be a big door. It's only a small room. So we just grab that there and we're going to pop that one along there. Looks good. next we can just fill up these two gaps so I'm going to grab another one of these slightly larger walls 
going to rotate it 90 degrees and I'm going to just swing this over this way. It doesn't matter if it's perfectly lined up because you're not going to see anything through this area here. So we just want to grab a, I'm going to go with a medium sized wall just for the sake of making sure that that's there like that. And now what we want to do is I want to grab this one and I want to match it up. 412. I'll just make that 412 dead. Then I can grab this one as well and make this 412 dead as well. And then they line up perfectly like that. And then we've got our room. Again, very small bedroom. It's a guest bedroom, I suppose you could say. Now, the purpose of having a door in the scene is obviously it needs to be a thing in the scene. So I'm going to drop down and I think my camera angle view of this room is probably going to be from this corner it is a very small bedroom but we can always remedy that so we're just going to add our camera into the scene we're going to go with perspective view there jump into our camera and now we're going to pull back on our focal length ever so slightly so that it does make the room feel a little bit bigger but it also it just makes gives us that wide angle so we can now put objects into the scene. I can rotate the camera into a position where it's happy and it, realistically I can do this in perspective view as well. If I just go straight to the top down view and pull back I can actually see where my camera is. But if I were to go to actually the top orthographic view now I can see exactly where these things are and if I jump out of and the Iron Maiden going to texture shaded mode as well now I can see that camera not in a great position so we can move it I'm just going to grab it with our move tool selected and we can actually bring that in right into the corner of the room like that and now if we go into our camera view there we go now we can see what we can see nice All right so we go back into our perspective view what i'm going to do now is i'm going to grab all of these objects and i'm going to create a new group and i'm just going to call this walls and stuff like that and then that just means that I can now deselect that and that's ready to go so now I just need to start filling this room with furniture obviously there's got to be a bed in the room I'm going to have the bed so it's actually in this corner under the camera so you're going to see kind of over the bed so I'm going to go into my content library and I'm just going to search for bed and then after a few seconds, a buttload of options are going to appear. This is going to be a girl's bedroom, so we can have see if there's anything slightly more feminine in there. The real my real concern when I do this is what I'm actually looking for is a nice flat surface that I can drape a deforced blanket over rather than desperately trying to find a bed that's got a nice blanket on it already. The reason for that is that a lot of the props that you get on the store don't have deforced blankets on them. They have blankets that have been very carefully molded, which is great, but doesn't really work in terms of wanting to get some deforced objects in there. So this one's okay. Just, oh, control Z that move that bed stick that in the corner and I might rotate it to zero so that it's actually in shot or at least partially in shot so we're going to stick that there top of that and then when you start adding props like this you start realizing that the room is not actually that small it is you know a reasonable sized bedroom i certainly wouldn't mind having a bedroom this big um you know it, there's, you've got a double bed in there and that's a reasonable you know size bed but if we go into our camera view we can see we can just about see the corner of it which is okay it's okay i could perhaps see if maybe i can put it in the middle of the room so if we go minus 90 and we slide it up so it's against this wall here instead and it's in the middle of the room let's see how that looks camera view there if i go into nvidia iro mode now doesn't look too bad doesn't look too bad we still haven't got a roof on it hence why the room's so well lit at the moment but you can hardly see any of the carpet already which is great 
So now what I'm going to start doing is putting some, I'm going to put some curtains over the window, come back into perspective view, change out of NVIDIA IRO mode, back to texture shaded. I'm just going to search for curtain, do what comes back. And again, not looking for anything like dramatically glamorous here. I'm really just looking for a simple curtain that I can put over this window that makes it look like a bedroom. See what we've got. So let's see what we've got. Plenty of curtains. Let's see if this one works. Wow, that is a big ass curtain. That may be a little bit overkill. Let's get rid of that. Got here. showing as being there oh there we go that's it they're quite tall quite tall a bit too big for those windows again so you yeah, just trial and error trial and error okay whatever whatever but that's no good scale that down rotate it 180 degrees Here. Lift it up again, change the scale. Get a look from above and from the front and make sure that we've got it perfectly in position like that. Check that it's up against the wall, looks pretty good. Now we can choose a material. We've got the uh, object selected. Let's have a look in the surfaces tab and drape. We can give this a different material. We can just see what happens here. If I do that, no, nothing. Okay, that's cool. So I'm actually now looking for shaders. You can see what shaders I've got. I want this kind of to be a fairly neutral color. Fairly neutral. Let's have a looky. Okay, so I'm just going to manually now look through my shader presets. I've got a whole bunch of them. Plenty of cloth and stuff in here. So just a look through what I've got. Curtains, maybe dry fabric. A look, and fabrics. Okay, this is cool. I'm going to go with this color. There we go. Perfect. Right. So that's cool. All I've done there is I've just applied a shader to that specific material. It's no biggie. Cool. Happy days. We've got that. So now I want to find a wardrobe, maybe. See if I've got any of those in my content library. It is always a danger in searching for something like wardrobe in Dash Studio because wardrobe is actually a category in your smart content. So you might have to search for something like cupboard instead, and then you'll probably find that you get what you're looking for. So I'm going to pop in a chest of drawers, and is that a wardrobe? Job. Okay, so now we've got a cupboard and a chest of drawers. Now this is where we can use that corner of the room. If we change this to 45, if I can type 45, that's a 7. 45, and then no, so we're now we actually need 135. No, okay, I'm trying to remember what the flipping angle is now. 225. That's what I was after, and then I can push that up against the wall just there like that. And then the chest of drawers can go. Let's just see what orientation that is in. So that will go that way around, 180. And we'll stick this in this gap here. Just rotate that so we can see that we aren't clipping into the curtain. It is a tight gap, so if we need to move the bed, we will. But yeah, let's just do that. Let's just move the bed across slightly 
into our camera view. Starting to look like a bedroom now. I'm going to put a plant maybe on top of there. Um, actually, no, this is a, a sort of a teen girl's bedroom. So more likely to have some kind of um, storage box, some kind of knick-knack box. Let's see what we've got. Dry uh, jewellery. No, that's not how you spell jewellery. It's two L's. There we go, jewellery box. Find the jewellery box. Lift it up and bring it over. Just jump back into perspective view and then we can get a better feel of that. I need to move that in the Z plane to get into a good point where we can see that. Dropping that down. Sorry, the Y plane, not the Z plane. Oh, what did I have for breakfast this morning? Okay, so that's a jewelry box there. I think we probably need to put some kind of. Um, Vanity in there as well, if we can spell vanity. Let's have a look. We just want a small, this isn't, you know, she's not got a whole desk set up specifically for um, doing makeup and things like that. It's more of a, a jewelry box, we've got hairbrush, makeup palette. Bring a load of props in. Dreams, yeah, let's do that. And we need a lamp as well. What we need a lamp and a mirror probably too. Search for lamp. I actually quite like the look of that lamp. Cool. And a mirror. Searching for all of our props at the moment and then we can move them into place and make everything look nice. Mirror might take a while to find because there's probably quite a lot of things called mirror in there. So let's see what we've got here. Broken mirror, that's no good. Look for a mirror, not really. Okay, that'll probably work. Right, so we're in perspective view. Perfect. So we grab our makeup palette. I'm going to copy where the jewelry box position is. I'm just going to control V and see if that does anything. It's given it values. They do not correspond to where we want it to be though. This means that this obviously had a different set position. Just slide that down. Give that a Y translate until it pops up against there. There we go. That's now sitting on top of there. So now if I copy that, try to copy that, there we go. Now we're talking, I can stick that over there. No, nope, that didn't work, so let's try copying that one instead. There we go. Pop some little type of creams there. AMS, all right, so this lamp could very well be a floor lamp, it is. So what I can do is I can just slot that over here and pop it up against there so that it's looks good right let's just have a quick look through our camera now and see what we can see there's still a bit of a space over there so i'm just going to try searching for um kind of folded cloth or something that plane got loads of folded stuff that we can try popping in there so we just have some kind of folded clothes so maybe a towel let's just pop a towel in there Slide that over there. Let's rotate it a little bit. This is a bedroom of a normal person, not someone with massive um, psychological issues that cause them to make sure everything's perfectly lined up. Right, so this mirror is currently a floor mirror. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it down to about 30% of its normal size and then I'm going to flip it up there. Let's give it a little spin still quite large so we can just move it into position that I think it wants to be and then just drop it down even more in the scale go into our camera view let's just pop this into Nvidia IRA mode now and see what we are dealing with what we're looking at 
looks pretty good. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a ceiling, which is as simple as copying the floor plane or just creating a new plane. Do that now. Five meters. Except, and then on that plane, we're just going to drag this up to I'm going to guess about 300. Go to perspective view. We jump out of the iron mode again. Give us some kind of clue. So as you can see, that's just about clipping the top of the room. Which is fine, that's perfect in fact. So I'm going to add a luminance property to another plane which is going to be situated just underneath this one. I'm going to make this a one meter square and that plane is going to be located at 299. I'm going to give it a luminance property. Mission, that's going to give it a slightly blue tinge just because I think this is going to be a fluorescent light. Switch this to KCDMR2 and then drop the value down to a probably 250. Come back to our camera. Stick this in NVIDIA IRO mode and see what that does. There we go. That just creates a bit of a fill light on the inside of the room. Now I've got the HDRI to look at so I can go into my environment settings. I can browse into my HDRIs, give it the same HDRI that all my other rooms use so there's a little bit of consistency there. Give it a moment to have a bit of a think and decode that HDRI, it's a big file. Uh, view mode on. And then let's see what happens there. All right, so this light is way too bright. So let's give this a select, have a look at the surfaces paper mache the light bulb let's have a look at the luminance of the light bulb i don't mind it being lit but the fact that it's out powering the light outside is absurd and it, you can see that it's set to a million <laughs> right let's change that to 100 to 1150 so it's got a little bit of a glow to it but it's not creating a huge you know, level of illumination in fact, I could just turn that off altogether. Let's just emission color. Let's see how that looks without any light coming out of it. Still got a weird kind of glow. I'm actually kind of not liking it. I think it's, it just looks wrong in the room. Maybe you disagree, but it's happening. We've got a mirror there. All of that girly type stuff over there. We've got a very small amount of light coming in here. So I'm going to rotate my dome. Let's just try 90 and see what that does. So I want light to come in through the window. I think we're actually 180 degrees out there. So let's try 270. See what happens there. So it's coming from that direction at the moment. So let's try 230. Gone too far. No, I've got, not gone it far enough. Let's try 315. And let's just keep rotating it until we get the light coming in the way that we want it to. Let's just try 45. Let's see what happens if we go 45. I'm just going to keep guessing, really. There is actually light coming in through the window there. Best thing to do is just come out, look at where my window is, and see if the light source is over there. The light source is over there. We can just rotate. Bin that round, see what happens at whatever value it was that I just added to it. No, so that's heading in the wrong direction. So I'm going to give this 75. Close. Let's try. So just giving you random numbers now. Jump back into my camera view mode. You can see there is actually light coming in now albeit not very intense. So let's just pump up that value quite a bit. This GRI is going to get much brighter. Now if I come into perspective view mode and I go inside the room, I can just see if that light is actually shining in through the window or not. Really I just want the optimum amount of light coming in through. There we go, as you can see it is actually coming through now. So I can come back into my camera got a certain amount of light coming from that window I really want that to be more so I'm gonna really crank it up I'm not actually overly bothered about seeing the HDRI outside the window so my main interest is 
getting enough light coming in through the window. As you can see, that's kind of even things out a little bit now. So if I come back to my plane, like that's got the luminosity on it. If I drop that down now to, let's try 50. Now it feels like the room is being more naturally lit. It's still there. It's still acting as a fill light, filling in some of those shadows, but it looks a lot more like a naturally lit room. So I've got to add some clothes and stuff in here, really. So let's go back into my content library. And just say hanging, assuming I spelled hanging correctly. And that will give us a few clothes. We need to come into texture shaded mode realistically. And then we can see if we've got any clothes that have been already hung up. Have a look. Do whatever it was that, that just did. Oh no, that was just luminous. Right. So now we've got all of these extra items in the room. Before I do anything else, I'm actually going to drag these into that group as well. And then I can minimize that group and then it just keeps my scene tab nice and clear. So let's see, we've got a drop there. We can just use our move tool now to stick that in the right place. Just that button that gives us a chance to rotate around it. As you can see, it's just too big, so we're just gonna scale that down until it looks like it's meant to be there. It's still quite big, so we're just gonna shrink that down and then crank it up on the Y translate. There we go. Now it looks like it's hanging there. Perfect, see if we've got any more for any more, any more clothes in our library that we can pop in there. That one, is that the same one? No, that's uh, perfectly fine. It's actually in a, it's been created inside. Yes, it has, that's fine. That actually works. So we can just move that that way. Rotate it 90 degrees, translate it up there, and just move that in. Doesn't necessarily matter if they clip on each other too much. I mean, it's, it's a full ish kind of wardrobe, so that I can live with. Go with another one. Annoyingly, that has also been created inside that group, so we'll just chop that there. Go with a another prop. This one can just oh, it's quite irritating, isn't it? So let's pop that in there. There we go. Now, when we move that, that will. It's a very monochromatic. This, so I might change the material of some of these clothes. This is a teen girl, after all. So yeah, that looks fine. Let's just go with um, shaders. Metallic fabric, maybe silk. Let's go with silk. Find some silk. And I'm just going to make one of those bright pink silk. That's cool. This one, I'm going to go with uh, white satin. No, I, think I may have mis meant to click on that. There we go. And then that just adds a little bit of variance to the color in there. Looks better. Now I can go back to search results and I can find some more clothes uh, let's see what we've got jeans what girl's bedroom will be complete without some hanging jeans cool beans maybe have another pair of jeans in there yep inevitably I'm going to have to move out of that group Right, let's go back to our camera view and just see how that looks. This is really a suspension of disbelief kind of situation because there is no rail in there and there's no hangers on some of those clothes. But let's have a look at how it actually looks if we go into our NVIDIA IRO mode now. And hopefully it won't look too bad. It's having a bit of a thing, and it is quite dark in the top of that cabinet, as you can see. 
parameter, I'm not overly worried about how that looks. I think all in all, we've got a fairly kind of decent, normal looking bedroom here. Works for me. So that's pretty much it for this room, I reckon. Um, thanks ever so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.